Good morning to this act of worship this Sunday. I do hope you're all well and it's lovely to see people here joining us from our parish and from further afield. Whether you're a regular listener or whether this is your first time today, you're very welcome. Now those regular viewers amongst you might notice that things might seem a little different this time. Don't worry, we're just trying a few new ideas. If you have any thoughts at the end of the service on the changes, we'd really like to hear them. So do feel free to drop an email to the normal email address that we would have at the end of the uh, online service. So let's start our service by lighting a candle. remembering while we do so that Jesus is the light of the world we do our best to shine his light to others let's start by saying sorry to God as we often do in these acts of worship for some things we have said or not said or things we may have done or not done in the past week just take a minute Lord we know what we want and we want it now we will follow any sort of fad to get it or any stranger. Forgive us, Good Shepherd, and bring us back to where we know and are truly known. Lord, we know where we want to go, and sometimes we don't mind treading on other people's toes to get there, even trying to get ahead of our leaders. Forgive us, Good Shepherd, and bring us back to where we know and are truly known. We think we know who we are, but only you, Lord, truly knows us. Forgive us, Good Shepherd, and bring us back to where we know and are truly known. Lord, sometimes we are content with a lesser form of life than the one you desire for us. We don't always try to get to know other people before we let them influence us. Forgive us, Good Shepherd, and bring us back to where we know and are truly known. Amen. Thank you, O oh God, that in you we have the safety and security of your abundant forgiveness. As a woolly jumper can hold us tight, surrounding us with warmth and well-being, so does your forgiveness wrap us in security and new hope. Praise be to God. Amen. So now we're going to sing a song and then Carol Leaves will share her views and her thoughts on the importance of having a good leader.
So if reading is taken based on John chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Uh, so as Carol mentioned, there is all the participation. So on the second line, the, the words in white, I'll say it, and then if you just repeat those after I say them. Okay. I've got something to say about sheep, said Jesus. And all of the people said, Bye. <laughs> Let's start with the sheep thief, said Jesus, that rotten, no good rustler. And all of the people said, <laughs> How does the sheep thief get into the pen? asked Jesus. Not through the gate, that's for sure. He creeps over the wall in the dead of night when nobody else is looking. And all of the people said, See! <laughs> and what is he there for? asked Jesus. I'll tell you, he's up to no good. He has knives and shears and lashings of mint sauce. <laughs> he comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. And all the people said, Nasty! But the shepherd, said Jesus, the shepherd is different. And all the people asked, How? He comes through the gate, said Jesus, the right way, the proper way, the honest way. And he comes not to kill, but to lead the sheep to pastures of green and gently flowing waters. And all of the people said, Lovely. I am the gate of the sheep pen, said Jesus. And all of the people said, I am the gate, said Jesus. I will protect you from anything and anyone that sneaks in to steal your joy. And if you go through me, you'll find life and find it to the full. Thank you, everybody, especially George. So, I wonder who has any pets? Hands up with you. Any adults got pets apart from your wife or husband? <laughs> yeah? yeah, quite a few. What, what have you got over here? I've forgotten your name. You've got a dog and four chickens. Dog and four chickens? How lovely do they lay? Yes. Super. What have you got? I've got two rabbits and a cat. Two rabbits and a cat. I've got a dog. A dog? I've got a dog and an older sister. I've got a <laughs> Brilliant answer. A dog and an older sister. <laughs> well, I've had a succession of cats in, a, in my single and married life. I think we had about five, I can't really remember. But they all lived till about 18, so it was a, a long, drawn-out period of having cats. But how do you take care of your pets? Anybody? Yeah? Feed them, give them water. Feed them, give them water. Take them on walk. Take them for a walk. Clean them out. Clean them out. Is that a nasty job? Not very nice, is it? But it's lovely when you see them with a lovely clean heart, isn't it? So, and, and children, mummies look after them. They're a bit like pets when they're tiny, aren't they? Especially babies, you have to do everything for them. Does your pet come when it's called? Well, do the chickens come when they're called? If I've got four. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Does your dog come when it's called? Sometimes. Sometimes. What about the rabbits? My your cat rabbits. does that. Your cat does, that's good. So some animals listen to our voice and recognise it and come, but others haven't quite got the brain capacity to do that. <coughs> so. And obviously you all love your pets, don't you? How much do you love them? This big? Yeah, of course you do. Just like mummies and daddies love all the children. <laughs> so what does a shepherd do? Is it different from having a pet? No. Not really? Could you tell a, sh would a sheep recognise your voice? Yeah. yeah, I think some of them do. Not when they, not when the shepherd has got a massive uh, flock of say a hundred sheep. I'm not sure whether they. But I think they recognise to see him, and they would run over if they saw him come into the field, especially if he had a bundle of food under his arm. So, in the Bible, there were lots of shepherds. And sometimes the shepherds would go out for days and nights and not be seen by their families because they were taking their sheep to good pasture and finding them um, a safe place to sleep because, um, yes we have, because 
over the, the hillsides, there would be already made sheep pens. So they, they would just usher their sheep into the pens and then the shepherd would lay, lay across the gate of the... Have we got one of the, the gates soon? I'm a, bit, I'm a bit ahead of myself, yeah. So if a, a wolf or a bear came to attack the sheep, the shepherd, knowing that he was on his own, would be willing to fight off any predators that came near with whatever he could find, maybe a stick, maybe stones. So unfortunately, sometimes I expect the poor shepherd got eaten before the sheep got eaten. That's not something we like to think about. But the shepherd was prepared to give down, give up his life for his sheep, just like Jesus did at East, the first Easter on Good Friday. So anything that tried to enter the pen would have to go past the shepherd first. And any sheep that wanted to try to escape would have to jump over the shepherd first as well. So today, Jesus compared himself to the gate for the sheep. So he said, I am the good shepherd, I am the gate. And he is the way to life, he says. And anyone else that says he's not, is not telling the truth. What do we say if you're not telling the truth? You're, you're lying. Right. Yes. Jesus said that a good shepherd would always lay down his life for his sheep. And we can trust Jesus' promises and rejoice that our shepherd has rescued us from sin and death. And he has a place for each one of us when we die, where we can be with him forever. Like the sheep, we have to listen for our master's voice. How many are old enough to know what the master? It, it was what, what, the record player, wasn't it? Yeah, his master's voice. With a little dog looking into the megaphone of the, uh, of the record player. So like sheep, we have to listen for our master's voice. Sometimes it's by resting in silence. I don't think he was speaking to me then. He may have been speaking to one of you. At other times, we might hear him as we pray. We might come to a word in a prayer and suddenly we can feel that Jesus is with us as, he, as we hear that particular word. Or when we're reading, even in a house group or at home alone, sometimes as you read the Bible, one word might jump out and hit you, and that's like a message from God to pay attention, and what does he mean by that one word? Actually, that's Lectio Divina. If you read something and one word comes out, you then concentrate on that one word of all that that one word can say and what is Jesus trying to get through to you at that particular moment. So gradually we can come to know God's voice from any others and that is called, anybody know? This, well done. <laughs> and you got the prize. No, it was Judy. Judy. She can throw her voice. <laughs> Discernment. Nice long word for you to learn. That's when you know Jesus' voice. And we know that in God's eyes, each one of us, every single one of us, is very precious to God. And he loves each of us dearly. However insignificant we might be feeling, he will listen when we call. However, the answer might come as a yes. It might come as a wait a bit, or even wait a lot. And sometimes it's a no. We 
might be upset about that, but we know that God wants, God knows what we need and not what we want. We can rest assured that Jesus does listen when we call to him, and it's him that gives us life each day of our lives. He is the best leader, not like me. And he's, he's the best we could ever hope for. So let's all continue or start following him. Now we're going to say a prayer together. Jesus, thank, thank you for the good shepherd. Help us to listen to your voice. the end of today's act of worship. As I say, do feel free to let us have any thoughts on the changes that we've made to these service, this online worship. And let's finish with a blessing. Dear Lord, please go with us through our day and guide us, protect us from harm and help us to hear your voice. Create opportunities for us to share your love with those we meet. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, being among, be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Now we're just going to blow out our candle, as usual. And we say, go in peace. Go in joy. And go in love.